in this lesson, we'll be spinning up a cluster of nodes on our laptop. You can find similar instructions in the documentation by clicking through to start a local cluster. First, we go to our terminal. We'll use the cockroach start command. This command starts a node that is intended to join other nodes to form a cluster. You're probably already familiar with some of these flags, but I'll look at a few that might be new. This join flag says where to find the other nodes when they come up. The store flag tells it to create a directory of my choice and put its data files and logs there. We'll be starting a few nodes and they'll each need their own directory. Finally, this background flag sets the node to run in the background so I don't have to keep opening new tabs in my terminal. This is what it looks like when it starts up correctly, and I've got the use of my terminal back because of that background flag. Let's start a second node. Huh, we got an error. Oh, I see, that address is already in use. We need to be careful not to let any node step on the toes of any others. Time to fix my mistake. I'll press up and change the last digit of that port from a seven to an eight. That's better. Let's start our third node. And it's up. When we're finished spinning up our initial set of nodes, which should be three or more for production, we always initialize our cluster. If we don't, we won't be able to talk to the cluster or see the admin UI. Let me show you. See, it's not showing me the prompt and it's going to error out momentarily. If this happens to you, make sure to initialize. We'll use cockroach init to initialize the cluster now. That worked. Let's check the status. Here are my three nodes, up and healthy. Three nodes is the minimum size for a production cluster. It's enough to maintain availability during node failure. Now that I've initialized my cluster, I can add additional nodes. I'll add two more to show how it's done. This is just like the commands we used for the other nodes. They'll simply join the existing cluster. And now our cluster has five nodes. By now the pattern should be clear. We can grow our cluster by adding more nodes with the same technique. And that's how we spin up a cluster, initialize it, and add nodes to it. <laughs>